Yo, what's up, YouTube? What's up, everybody? This is TA from Noble Sports Entertainment. I'd like to thank you guys for hanging out with me on today. We're going to get into the game preview, the Detroit Lions versus the Carolina Panthers. This is the Week 11 preview. So let's go ahead and get into it, guys. All right, let's do it. All right, pretty much, man, we know the type of season that the Lions are having. We know how uh, it looks like we pretty much know how the season is going to play out. The Lions will probably end up missing the playoffs unless they can start winning a lot of games consecutively. And I just don't think that this team has the consistency to be able to do that. Now, one thing that I know about Detroit is that um, this season just been a season of not being able to execute, man, um, whether it's been on the defensive side of the ball, guys, or even on the offensive side of the ball. The Detroit Lions have not been able to get anything going. The offense has, has just played sluggish at times. And, you know, the, um, uh, Kenny Galladay and Marvin Jones should be, should be tearing it up. But they're really not because Matthew Stafford doesn't have the time to throw throw those guys the ball. And, uh, the, uh, and the Lions don't use the tight, tight end as much. And uh, that's something that uh, they've kind of gone away since they don't have Eric Ebron anymore. Because I know Eric Ebron used to be targeted a lot. And um, even though he would drop passes that time. But, you know, you got to give your heads off to Eric Ebron for having a good season with the Colts. So, you know, a lot of people say um, what's really going on with the Lions if Eric Ebron is over there. Every time a player leaves Detroit – they're able to play well and get things together. You know, what is it the system that they're running in Detroit? Is it the ownership? What is it? You know, what truly is going on with the Detroit Lions? And I say the same thing, guys. I don't know. But they're going into this game against Cam Newton, and I don't think that the Lions will win this game. Um, I'm just going to be honest, guys. I'm a realist, mm -hmm. and I just don't think that they got what it takes right now because the in inconsistent play on defense um, and, and on offense, um, not being able to really run the ball consistently. And uh, if they find a way to do that, maybe they could um, win this game. But if not, if they don't find a way to get the ball in the hands of Kenny Galladay and Marvin Jones, then it's going to be a long game for them, especially having to stop on defense, having to be able to stop uh, Devin Funches, um, Christian McCaffrey, uh, Samuel, and the rest of those guys that they got on the, um, got on the team. It's going to be hard and definitely – you're going to have to try to stop Cam Newton, which will be, at times, it's going to be hard because Cam really hasn't run a lot this season. He's kind of been just in the pocket a lot. But if he decides to take off and run, definitely it's going to be a long day for the Detroit Lions um, because he's a very mobile quarterback, and, um, mm -hmm. and um, they're probably mad for losing um, last week like they did to the Steelers, getting blew out by the Steelers, so definitely they're going to be looking to get an eventful win against the Detroit Lions. So hopefully the Lions will come to play, but I predict the score that the uh, the Carolina will win this game 27-14. Uh, to uh, I'm going to say 14. I just don't think the offense right now is looking good. Hopefully if Matthew Stafford can get some protection, um, I do think that T.J. Lane eventually needs to hang it up. Um, it's just just so much inconsistency, and Bob Quinn is going to have to address this stuff in the draft and in the free agents. They have to get players in here that are playmakers, and that's something that I stressed last season. I said the Lions have to find playmakers, guys that want to make plays out on the field, and they have not found that yet. They have not found that leader yet. You know, and I'm not saying that Darius Slay is not one of them because he is. He is a playmaker. But I'm talking about he need you need other people on the team. I definitely think that this will be Ziggy Ansah's last season with the Lions. You know, it's you know it's been a bittersweet run with him. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes having him uh, play well for you, and then some. At sometimes not even seeing him on the f uh, field for weeks, man. So I'm definitely going to take the Carolina Panthers over, over my Lions, even though. I would love to see my Lions win and try to rack up some wins, but I just don't think that these guys got what it takes, especially with Matt Patricia having these guys practice out in the cold and in the snow. That's something that these guys are not used to doing as professionals. And if they're out there practicing in the snow when they don't even play yet, that's that's kind of crazy. But um, at the same time, you know what I'm saying, we'll see what they'll do against the Carolina Panthers. But I just don't think that the, inc the inconsistent play just makes me think that the Lions will not win this game. 
All right, you guys, this is TA of Noble Sports Entertainment. I'd like to thank you guys for stopping by the channel. Make sure you hit that red button for me. You know what it's called. It's called subscribe. And I appreciate y'all. I'm out of here. Till next time. Peace.